Menopause is not a shameful ailment of aging women, but it does involve some physical and emotional changes in a woman's life. Jill's guest today has written and extensively written and studied extensively on women's health issues, and she's written a book to help us understand menopause. Jill? Thanks, Peter. The book is Change of Life, and it's by Susan Train. And Susan, you have found in all your studies over the years that every woman is affected by menopause, the change of life. We uh, all experience uh, to different degrees. Who lives long enough will certainly go through menopause. And different women experience it in different ways, just as childbirth is experienced in different ways, although ultimately the end result is the same. Mm -hmm. The end result is that you have no more menstrual periods. Some women have mild to moderate, most women have mild to moderate symptoms. 75 to 85 percent of all women uh, do nothing special to get through menopause, mm -hmm. but there are a small number who will have severe symptoms. Um, I think a lot of women are really scared about it. Uh, you know, they dread it. Is there any way that a person can prepare themselves? Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> by reading as much as right. you can and learning about the changes that go on within your body. This book began as a result of my own quest. As a woman who's headed toward 40, I had some very subtle signs that, not that menopause is approaching imminently, but it is several years down the road. And I was kind of um, interested in knowing what would happen to my body as I go mm -hmm. from 40 to 45. Uh, what, what am I going to experience? Right. And um, the reason I wrote the book was to reassure other women about the normal changes that gradually occur. It doesn't happen overnight like a faucet. There are mm -hmm. certain very subtle gradual changes and uh, the process is no more um, disease-oriented disease process than is adolescence. It's just another uh, physical change that will happen to us, to every healthy woman. Wh why do you think there are so many misconceptions? Most women say, oh, I'm going to have hot flashes. I'm not going to be able to function. Why are there so many misconceptions about it? Largely because menopause used to be the end of the line. Actually, women used to live until only age 48. I mean, that was the average mm -hmm. age, not every woman, but the average age expectancy was 48 years of age in 1900. Mm -hmm. uh, so menopause was associated with illness and death. Today, we live a third of our lives past menopause and many women say that these are the best years in their lives they're free from childbearing and child rearing and the hassle of contraception mm -hmm. and margaret mead even noticed that there's an infusion of energy renewed energy at this time of life she right. labeled it pmz postmenopausal zest and that's the point i make over and right. over that for many women menopause marks the beginning of a new phase where they can turn and, to themselves. And the change of life can be for the better. Susan Train, thank you very much. The thank book again you. is The Change of Life. It's available in most bookstores. Peter. We've all heard the stories about sharks eating people. Well, today you're going to hear a story about people eating sharks. Peter's talking to seafood expert Marilyn Rose.